The Stop It Pipe Repair System consists of a two-part hand-moldable epoxy putty and a water-activated urethane fiberglass composite wrap. This video demonstrates the steps needed to address an actively leaking pipe or fitting. Other available videos detail repairs performed under different conditions. As in all repair situations, remember to wear safety glasses, protective clothing, and the provided gloves during installation. This video highlights the repair of a simulated leak involving a 1 8 inch hole on a 3 inch pipe and 20 psi internal pressure. While it is possible to address higher pressures, it is always advantageous to reduce the pressure to the lowest possible level during and shortly after the repair. With practice, it is reasonable to expect that any leak that can be stopped by firmly placing a finger over the hole can be repaired by these procedures. First, prepare the area around the leak site by removing rust, loose scale, or pre-existing coatings. Next, fill a suitable container with water and set to the side. Prepare the epoxy putty by thoroughly mixing the two parts colored black and gray. This is best accomplished by tearing the stick in two and recombining the parts. Repeat this step multiple times before rolling the entire mass into a rod. Continue this sequence for approximately 60 seconds before pausing to inspect the color. If color variations are seen, continue the mixing process until a uniform color is observed. Next, tear open the foil pouch at the notch and remove the roll. Immediately immerse the roll in water for about five seconds while firmly squeezing the roll three times. Remove from the water and unroll approximately 10 inches of tape. Firmly press the two-part epoxy through the fiberglass tape at this location. Align the end of the tape on the pipe so that epoxy will be located over the leak site as the first wrap is applied. As the wrap is applied over the leak, press the epoxy firmly into the defect. Note that the leak often will not be entirely stopped by this step. Nonetheless, work quickly to tightly wrap the stop it roll around the repair. After several wraps, pause to twist the tape into a rope before pulling directly over the epoxy on the leak site. The goal of this approach is to apply maximum compression. Complete the wrap using the entire roll, building the tape on top of itself. Finish the installation by immediately re-wetting your gloves and compressing the expanding resins back into the repair wrap. Continue polishing the resins until they are no longer sticky and the resin can no longer be compressed. Keep your hands moving and re-wet your gloves as often as necessary to keep the resins from sticking. Inspect the surface of the repair for completion by placing water on the surface. The absence of bubbles naturally occurring from the urethane curing reaction will indicate that the resin is set. Discard all packaging materials and protective gloves in a suitable container.